Hello and welcome back to uh, another short review. Uh, this time it's on a, a rucksack made by Low, Low Pro, and it's the uh, BP450 AW Mark II. And I bought this bag for um, a camcorder instead of a DSLR with all its lenses. So a camcorder bag is um, my reason for. The other, the other thing is is. Um, when you're searching for uh, a camcorder bag, it usually shows you all the bags for the DSLRs, uh, which is not really what you want. So I thought if I do a review of this bag, give everyone an idea of um, what it's like for for a camcorder. And um, this one's good. It's it's quite heavy, quite well made, a proper waistband on it. And also um, very well made. It's got a nice solid uh, base on it, made of a waterproof material, and it, it is really good. It it will stand up. You put it down, and it will stand up. See, so uh, that that's really good. I like that. Uh, that's that's one thing I do appreciate. So going inside the bag, it's excellent. Because it does just what you want it to do with being able to put a camcorder in there. It opens from the bit on the back that goes to your body. As opposed to opening on the back that faces outwards from you. you get that open. I've got some padding. So when you're walking around, you're not constantly feeling the camera moving about. So I've got these pads in there just to keep it safe and then you've got your Canon XF400 in there fitting in nicely with a couple of um, wind shields a couple of mics um, take those out and some shotgun mics I'm using the Sennheiser MK 600s I've got two. It's always handy. You can never have uh, enough mics. And also you've got the 3.5 um, mic input on the camera. So yeah, the camera goes um, in there really nice. This one's uh, got the uh, top mount still on it. And also you've got the hood on there. Yeah, I haven't had to take that off. Battery's on the back. So it gives you ample room. And I've got a little um, bracket that fits on the shoe, which can hold one of the Sennheiser mics, as opposed to the other one fitting on the um, mount that's already on the camera. So that you, if you wanted to run them both together, get a stereo channel going, or have one facing you and one facing what you're filming, plus you've got the uh, stereo channel on the 3.5 jack as well, so you can move them around on the... Uh, Audio set here, settings. So you've got a nice little setup, the buttons left and right, and all the other bits and pieces. So I'm well well pleased with that. So I did buy this camera mainly for, um, apart from the quality of the images and that, the other thing was mainly for me was uh, audio. But getting back to the back, you can see now you've got a nice square space in the bottom there, plenty of room, and it. It stands up and it's not going to collapse. It's quite solid. It's got like a rigid um, piece built into it. Um, I've stuck a few pads in the bottom, which were spare, to make it fit the camera profile better. So really, the BP450 Mark II from Low Pro, the Whistler version, really nice bag, and it's not ex it's not cheap. And the good thing is, though, it will last a very long time. It's not going to fall apart in five minutes, that's for sure. Um, there's a couple of pic a couple of pictures in the book they give you. The laptop sleeve down the middle. There's um, a bag, and also it shows you pictures of it with skis and uh, numerous other things, snowboard and that. So skiers, backpack, camera bag, shovel, rope, 
um, ice. I think there's ice picks on there too. So yeah, I would highly recommend it. If you've got a medium-sized camera camcorder that you want to keep safe, and uh, even if you probably slipped over and rolled about a bit, it's very unlikely you're going to damage the camera. So um, yeah, go out and buy one if you if you want a good camcorder bag. It's really quite rigid, um, nice and tough. Uh, I won't go into all the other pockets and sleeves and the top compartment because there's plenty of reviews out there that can do that. I was more focusing on the fact that this will do you really good for a camcorder. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Um, good luck with your search, and uh, I'll catch up you catch up with you again with another re review. So thanks for watching.